Welcome to That Christian Mom. I am that Christian mom who wants to help you succeed in your mommy business and all your mommy budgeting desires. Okay, today we're going to jump right in. I'm going to be teaching you about making YouTube thumbnails that get the click every time in 2021. Why 2021 specifically? Because this online business is launching off for 2021 in a full swing. I'm helping you to be able to get the click every time. If YouTube is a way that you are attempting to be a stay-at-home mama and provide for your children while working from home, then you are going to want to get the click every time on every video. So I'm going to be showing you a budget-friendly, actually free, way to make customizable, personalized thumbnails, and we are going to be starting right now using a program called Canva. On Canva, there are two options, a free version and a pro version. I did end up deciding to upgrade to the pro version because there are some shortcuts and features that I really liked. But if you are trying to be frugal and budget friendly, you can do countless countless things with the free version and I did for quite a while. So I'm going to show you how to create this YouTube thumbnail that got your click today and we are going to start that off very, very simple. So as a busy mama of littles trying to do that mommy business thing, you do not have tons of room in your brain to memorize custom dimensions of all the different social media platforms and how to be able to do those on the whim. So one of the awesome things about Canva is they have templates that have the custom dimensions already in the place for you. So if you go up here to the top to the search bar and you start typing in YouTube, the awesome thing is up pops these custom dimensions that you did not have to memorize and there's a template and it's free. So if you select that, you will see a vast amount of options open up to you as far as templates that you can use. So today to make the thumbnail that you saw when you clicked on this video, we are going to use a blank canvas as I call it. So create a blank YouTube thumbnail. You just tap on this blank image here and that will open it up for you. I'm going to be doing tons of step-by-step -step tutorials just like this video. And if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join my my online mommy community. Speaking of having an online mommy community, I just quickly want to show you, I blog right here at thatchristianmom.com. And if you're trying to build your online social media presence and engage with your audience to build your online business, you're going to want to be a part of this website. This blog is full of amazing tips, currently how to save money shopping for Christmas, as well as how to make money being a stay-at-home mom. And if you click here on this Get Your Secret Social Media Content Planner now, throw in your email address and you will be entered to automatically receive this information here, which is going to help you to know what to post on social media to engage with your audience and build a following. The days of struggling to know what to post are gone. So head over to the blog and get that free social media content planner. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is make my canvas just a little bit smaller so I make sure I can see the whole image as I'm working on it. The first thing I want to do is get that nice red background. So if I tap on my blank canvas, I will see that this color for the background pops up. And if I go and tap on new color, I can toggle in between all of these different color features down here and I can scroll over and select what I'm looking for. But I know that YouTube has already decided that these bright red, black and yellow, white color combinations win the click every time on YouTube, especially for 2021. YouTube wants fresh, crisp, aesthetically pleasing images with high contrast. So we're gonna go with this red. The next thing we wanna do is add text. So on the left-hand column of the screen, you'll see all these different options open up to you. One of them is text. There is typography combinations down here that you can scroll through. A lot of them are pro, but there are definitely quite a few that are free combinations as well. I'm going to select this here and I'm just going to type in YouTube thumbnails 
and let's see what did we say here YouTube thumbnails was our first line of text and you break up the text so you can drag it and drop it where you want it to be specifically and you can make it bigger and smaller and play with the combinations of lines of text that you create so while this box is highlighted we're going to use this drop down box to look at all the different types of fonts that we can use again this is totally free you're going to be making some amazing YouTube thumbnails that win the click every time before you know it. So I have a couple of recently used fonts that I really, really like. So I like this girly font here that really has that feminine touch to it, but it's still easy to read. So you can make things nice and big and so that they pop. And if you grab a hold or select this, rather, you can drag it to where you want it. One thing you want to keep in mind when you are creating your thumbnail is the bottom right hand corner on the desktop is going to kind of be hidden just a little bit by the timestamp. So say our video is 9 minutes 20 seconds, the bottom right hand corner is going to say 9 minutes 20 seconds. So you don't want to put anything crucial to what you want your audience to see in that bottom right hand corner. So again, just pay attention to things like that. So the next thing we do is select another block of text here and we will see what did we say we said that when the click in so that when the click in and then again our text is selected we're going to go up here I love this Anton typography I think it's nice and bold and it really gets the attention of your audience so I'm going to change that to white and then if you just click and select here, you can drag this to where you want it to be. And these grid lines pop up if you can see the dotted lines. This is just showing you that your text is in proper alignment and that it is centered with the text that's already on the thumbnail. So YouTube thumbnails that win the click in. So we are going to select another group of text here and we are going to say 2021. We're going to stretch this out with our toggle bar and make it rather large. And then the next thing we're going to do is curve our text, which is really, really neat. We can use this effects button here and we can select curve. If you notice, there are so many different options and variations. Again, every bit of this is under the free features that Canva offers, but we're going to do curve. And then we are going to do effects. So if you see here, you can click on effects and let's do spacing rather. We're going to stretch out our numbers a little bit here. So we can either go in with the numbers or out and I wanna stretch them out just a tiny bit so that it takes up more room and that it's a little bit more catching. And then I'm going to stretch this out and make the font even bigger. So again, we're going for nice, wow, popping, contrasting colors. And I think we're going to make this one yellow. So this is going to be one of those where we slide the bar over until we see what we think we want. There we go. And we select that YouTube thumbnails that win the click in 2021. So let's see what else we did over here. So we're going to add this arrow. I love the arrow feature. So what you do is back on this left hand column, you're going to click on elements and you're going to type in arrow. Now a cool feature that Canva offers is this filter option. So if you click, click there, you can toggle down here and select free. So maybe I only want to see the elements that are free because I'm trying to build my mommy business and win the click every time with my thumbnail, but not spend a lot of money doing it. So maybe I'm going to use this one here. We can see that it's free and I'm going to put it on the right hand side of the screen. So I want to flip this so that it's pointing this way and I'm going to drag it over here. And this is another feature that just allows us to change the direction of our items and I'm going to make it smaller and I think maybe we'll go back this direction. A little bit so you just play with it until you get exactly what you want and I could leave it white because that is definitely a contrast but I really really like that yellow shade so I'm going to do that 
So as you can see, there is a lot of contrast. There's these bright colors. It's definitely an image that is going to really pop with our audience when they see it. And the last thing I'm going to do is show you the photo or upload rather option. So we click on uploads and you can upload your image into Canva or you can drag your image from the desktop. So I already have some images over here. So I know the one that I liked for this thumbnail and I'm going to select it and it will pop right into the middle and then I can drag it where I want it. Now if I don't have the paid feature, um, the pro version of Canva, I'm not going to be able to take the background out. So that's one reason why that feature is kind of important to upgrade. But you can do the background removal in other programs online and then upload your image without the background into Canva. And that's kind of a workaround. So if this image here is selected, as you see the blue box around it, I can click on effects because I have the pro and select the background remover. It just takes a couple of quick seconds and it's really going to up our YouTube thumbnail game for sure. So we see here now we've got a nice crisp image perfectly detailed and I'm going to stretch it out because another thing that YouTube has told us is that they really like up close face images on YouTube's video thumbnails that really helps you to win the click so now we need to mess with our layers a little bit so as you can see the yellow arrow is behind my head so I want to do something about that so if I click on the yellow arrow and then I also click here on position. It will open it up and I can tap on forward. That brings that layer to the front of the image. So now it is on top and not bottom and we can play around a little bit more with the desired look of the arrow and just really see how do we want that? Do we want to change the shape? Do we want to change the color? Do we want to change the size of any of this? I personally love this thumbnail. I think that it looks great. It will win the click every time on YouTube in 2021. So I hope this video encourages you to go out and reach all your mommy business goals in 2021. I'm going to continue to make videos, tutorials, step-by-step, -step, easy to understand, and frugal finds for you on this YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join me here as we really learn how to provide for our families together. So join my mommy tribe and don't forget to head over here to thatchristianmom.com and follow the blog for more content just like this one. I also have a primary YouTube called channel called Staying Kingdom Minded. I would love for you to come and check that out as well. So don't forget to look in the description box of today's video to all of the links and all of the awesome things I have for you down there. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I can't wait to see you in our next mommy business building video. Thank you so much for watching today's video.